This is Jeff Riddle, professional drummer, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to play double bass. It is certainly the number one question that I get. Uh, the fascination with playing double bass among drummers is amazing, or, um, uh, or among up-and-coming drummers is, how do I learn to play fast? How do I learn to be accurate? How do I learn to do intricate double bass beats? Well, I'm going to give you some tips. Now, first of all, you got to understand, I am by no means the fastest double bass drummer in the world. In fact, whoever you find that is, there's somebody faster than that guy. That's one thing I've learned. I've heard somebody that I didn't think it was humanly possible to play that fast, and then someone else is faster than that guy. Okay, so first of all, understand that no matter how fast you learn how to play or how accurate you are, there's somebody else out there that's, that's even faster. So pick up tips from everybody. Everybody has their own different style on how they play double bass, okay? Different, uh, you know, heel-toe methods, um, whether they lift up their legs, whether they play flat-footed, whether they're playing with just their toes, whether they're doing heel and toe, everybody has a different method. I'm going to show you my way. It's not the way. It's a way. But I'm going to show you what I do and how I've learned to play fast. And... It can, be, it can be applied whether, whether I can play extremely fast, you can still apply the same methods to play even faster, okay? So it's not that my style is, you know, I'm only limited to a certain speed. The only thing that limits me is practicing and my endurance, okay? So let's start with this, okay? Before I show you the equipment, okay, and I show you my style, first of all, understand, okay? The double bass, okay, I would highly recommend that you at least know how to play drums and have learned how to play a single pedal. I don't know that I would just start off double bass, okay? Now, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. I learned double bass pretty quickly after um, I learned, you know, a single pedal. But I think you have a little advantage if you've at least, you know, learned how to play drums and learned how to play a single pedal. So with that being said... Um, the first thing you need to understand to be good at double bass is make sure you have your timing down. It doesn't matter how fast you can move your feet. If your timing is off, it's going to sound horrible. Okay, so get your timing down first. Learn how to play drums, basic set of drums first. Okay, once you're past that, okay, then start incorporating learning how to play double bass, okay? And again, before I show you the equipment, just some basic tips, okay? Double bass and, how, and, and playing it, first of all, requires accurate timing, okay? Um, you need to be very good with keeping time, okay? Whether it's to a metronome, whether it's to your hi-hat, whether it's to your ride cymbal, you need to be able to keep time, okay? The second thing is endurance. You might be very coordinated, uh, because it takes a lot of coordination to play double bass. But you may be very coordinated and able to do it, but you can't play fast or you can't play fast for long periods of time. That's because it takes endurance. It takes strength. It takes muscles. Okay? It's, it's not, there's not some trick to playing double bass. I'm not going to teach you some miracle trick that you're going to be able to jump on the pedals and, and, and you know, be, be amazingly fast. It takes time, it takes work, and it takes effort. It's like anything else, okay? You're not just going to jump on there and be a whiz at it because there is no special cheat method, okay? Um, and if there is, unfortunately, I'm not here to teach you that. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to teach you how to play double bass, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my pedals, and then I'm going to show you how I play double bass, okay? Okay, so let's show you the equipment. First of all, I have another video about whether you should buy double pedals and a single bass drum or whether you should get two bass drum and two single pedals. Please check that out as I will not be going over that in this video. Okay, I'm just going to show you double bass technique. These are DW9000 pedals. First thing I want to do is go over equipment. Buying the nicest, most expensive double bass pedal or two single pedals is not going to make you a better double bass drummer. It'd be no different than me giving Tiger Woods 
my set of golf clubs and me using Tiger Woods golf clubs, I would not beat Tiger Woods at golf, okay? Yes, you should buy a nice pair of pedals. However, they don't need to be the best or the most expensive. You need to learn how to play double bass and then worry about getting the nicest pedal, okay? Now, obviously, don't go out and buy junk, okay? If you buy junk, you know, it's going to sound like junk. It's going to work like junk. So you're going to need to spend for a decent double bass pedal probably somewhere in the ballpark of $150 to $250, okay? I believe these, when I bought these, which these are not new, were somewhere around three or three fifty, dollars and they are excellent pedals. There are probably better pedals out there on the market. But this is what I use, and I can play pretty darn fast, and I don't feel the need to change my pedals. I just need to get better and faster with practice like everybody else. Okay, so I'm going to show you my method of playing double bass, and then I'm going to give you some tips on how to get faster. Okay, what I do, placing my feet on the pedals here, and I'm sorry for my probably terrible camera angle, um, what I do is I play with the toe down and heel up method, okay? A lot of drummers will play flat-footed and lift up their toe like that. A lot of drummers will literally just about stomp on their pedals. And a lot of drummers use this heel and toe method. And I even see some drummers do this with their feet. And I'll be honest with you, I've got no clue how to do that. I have learned one way, and again, it's not the way, it's my way, and that is to play clearly toes up, okay? So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm trying to get that from the side. I play with my toes up, usually putting my toes on the pedals about right here, okay? Next thing I want to show you real quick is pedals have lots of adjustments. First of all, don't get too tied up in this. Again, it is how you play. It is not adjusting everything just perfect. That comes later. However, some basic things you should know is that you can adjust, like on my pedal here, as you can see down here, you can adjust the tension, how hard it is to push down this pedal, okay? That is gonna have to be adjusted to your personal liking. Some people like a lot of bounce. Some people like them to be very stiff and others like them to be with almost no friction whatsoever. I will recommend that you have a reasonable bounce, okay? And maybe if you adjust your pedals so that they kind of react this way, I, this is how I would suggest. Kind of in the middle. You know, some friction, but not too easy, but not real hard either. But you've got to have kickback to play fast double bass. You have to have the pedal jump off the head quickly so that you can, uh, you know, do the downstroke again very quickly. So I highly recommend that you kind of put it in the middle to start. One thing I want to show you real quick, no matter whether it's a double bass pedal or whether it's a single pedal, make sure that it is striking in the middle of the head. Obviously, on a double bass pedal, you have to have them strike slightly uh, left and right of center. But as you can see, I've got mine adjusted so that they hit within the circle, okay? You want to at least make sure you have that, okay? As far as whether you want the felt side to hit or the plastic side to hit, that is preference. You will have a snappier side with the plastic side hitting, and you will have more of a um, dampened sound with the cloth hitting. If you have a double bass pedal, you will have to adjust this piece here to spread out the width of the pedals. I recommend that obviously you hit dead on on the main pedal, which I don't think there really is any other way to do that, and then you adjust your left pedal, okay, so it's pointed where it feels comfortable for you, okay? Okay, so how to learn how to play, okay? First of all, I would get a metronome, okay? I would get something that can keep basic time that you can listen to, and I would have it start as slow as possible first. And all I would do is go back and forth on the left and right foot and stay in time with the metronome, okay? Okay? 
Now, to build up speed, there is really only one true way to do this, and that is to continue to practice as much as you can every day. The more you practice, the better you will get. Start off playing slow and practice doing that as long as you possibly can before your ankles are burning, okay? I have my toes only hitting the pedal. Another thing I suggest is that you sit up nice and high, not so that your feet are dangling, but so that your knees are, are either straight, or I'm sorry, your legs are straight, or your knees are headed slightly down. If you're sitting too low, it is going to be harder to play double bass than if you're sitting up a little, much, a little bit more on the high side. Okay, now everybody has their preference, but I've noticed it's a little easier sitting up a little higher. Once you learn how to do it at a slow pace and you can do it for at least 60 to 90 seconds without stopping, you can try to go faster. Now I'm not saying jump to that speed that fast. I'm just saying that you want to see how long you can do it before your ankles start to burn. I can't cover everything on how to play double bass in one video. So I'm gonna wrap this one up and I will make others that continue uh, where I left off. But some other tips uh, before you go. Everywhere you sit, everywhere you go, you can just sit down at a table, dinner table, school, wherever you're at, and just keep going back and forth on your toes. You will be surprised that by doing that, how fast you build up the muscles in your ankles. Double bass strength comes from your ankles, a little bit in your feet, and obviously leg strength, okay? So if you just sit here and continue to go back and forth and back and forth, and you continue to do it faster and faster and longer and longer, you will eventually build up the endurance that you need. You still have to have timing, you still have to have the coordination, but you have to build up the strength in your ankles and your feet and your legs, okay? Now, the last thing I'll go over is, besides coordination, besides you know, strength in your ankles and, and, and technique, there are so many other things that you can do to build up ankle strength. There's actual ankle weights that you can purchase to make your ankles much heavier so that when you're doing this, it's a lot harder than when you take them off, you realize how much faster you're able to play because it's so much easier, okay? Last thing I'll talk about is footwear. Most drummers that play fast either play barefooted or with very tight-fitting, lightweight shoes, wrestling shoes, shoes like I have on, okay? Trying to do this in boots, um, I'm not saying it can't be done. There are speed metal drummers I've seen in boots. I don't know how they do it, okay? But I'll tell you, for best control for me, bare feet is hard to beat, okay? Or a tight-fitting shoe. I would highly recommend, but light, light, very lightweight. Uh, I wouldn't try learning how to play double bass in big boots, okay?